Okay, so we're now going to start just constructing the idea of the drawing itself. And as I said, I'm going to work with a circle and a triangle in the case of each pair, just to give a greater sense of volume. I'm aware that this one sits quite high, so we put in a soft enough circle, working lines, not trying to be too rigid or too perfect. Another circle to the right for the main body of the second pair. We add in a sort of triangular shape here, and we add in a sort of triangular shape here. That allows me to see the relationship between them. I understand when I look at this pair, I can put my pencil against the angle, so from centre to centre, from the centre of the stalk through to the centre of it, the base, I can see that it leans to the left. I've achieved that. With this one here, it's leaning down from the top right to the lower left hand side, and again I've achieved that. This one sits to the right, and I'm looking not just at the objects themselves, I'm conscious of the negative space, the space from the end of this pair to the end of this pair here. So I'm looking at that. I'm conscious of the triangular space created in the space in this area and I'm now conscious that I have enough space to move my shadow over to the left hand side and that in turn, if I put my pencil down along the sense of the shadow, you can see the way it moves away from me going towards the top left hand corner of the paper in this case. Now again you might say to yourself, yeah, but that's flat and it's, going, it's, it's not actually going up at an angle, it's going flat on the table surface, but in a 2D surface it's conveyed in this fashion here. So you can see already, composition is slightly to the right, more space on the left, less space on the right, but enough space to accommodate the shadow and still give a balance. A little bit of space here and some space up there, so you can see the dynamic starting to go. If I'm happy with that, as with the bottle, I move on. If I'm not happy with this, I don't. I stay till I get this basic shape, because if I can't get this basic shape, well then I have very little opportunity of improving this as I go forward. So from there we start to suggest, again notice I'm holding the pencil nice and soft, just suggesting the idea of the lines. And what I love about pears and lots of fruit, we tend to think fruit is perfectly shaped and formed. It's not. You get these wonderful uneven shapes and angles on fruit and vegetables which I think adds to the value in terms of painting. It makes them more dramatic and it, they lend themselves to being more dramatically applied. You can see with the pears they have these wonderful little angles and that's what we're going to start with here. Just suggesting these little angles, not trying to be too rigid to begin with and just to build some sort of shape. So I'm using the first profile as an opportunity just to get a little bit more clarity. I'll repeat that with this one here, slightly angular. And I think it angles, which I'll soften up again in a few moments, but they add a little bit more drama. And once more, what I'm doing is I'm giving myself an opportunity to understand what it is I'm looking at. So you can see I've given a little bit more weight and a little bit more depth and form to the physical pairs themselves. Once again, if I'm happy, I move on and I just start to round the edges a little. Here, there, but keep the essence of the angles, don't, don't entirely take those out because they're very much part of the success of this idea. Yeah. Putting in the stalks just helps to give a little bit more atmosphere and realism to the suggestion of what it is I'm looking at. So you can see through those three stages we've got something that's a little bit clearer. From there I'll move in and I'll just describe where the shadows are. And again relationship, I'm aware as I said already of the spaces. Now I look at where the shadow starts. So the shadow here comes out from that stalk, comes back twists around, winds back towards, over the soft folds. The shape of the pair, and this is what I liked about this composition, was the shadow of the pairs reflects the pairs themselves. So in the shadow, I'm getting a third pair. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. So as part of this composition, I'm not just looking at the pairs, I'm looking at the lights and the shades conveyed by the pairs, which in themselves create a really nice pattern and design in the background space. So it is about these, but it's as much about the shadow and the shape and the, sh the design that it conveys. As a painter, all of my work is about light and dark, regardless of whether it's a figurative piece, a structural piece in terms of a street scene or a landscape or a seascape or a still life. These to me are just objects against which I reflect light because that is the essence of strength and drama and liveliness in painting for me. It's about different forms of light and how they work and I use it in a designing fashion as a tool and this is a case of that again. You now see I have the two pairs and I have the idea of the shadow applied. So you can see how the composition is moving up here. We have a sort of triangular composition one, two, three. 